I'm going to explain what I've been doing for the last nine days, where I've been, and what, like, why I've just completely disappeared, basically. I've barely talked to my family, I've barely talked to friends. People have been asking me if I'm okay, people are worried about me, and I'm here to tell everyone I'm absolutely fine, I'm just absolutely obsessed with something, and when I get obsessed with something, I really, really, really get obsessed with something. Now, what am I obsessed with? I am obsessed with GPT Pilot. The reason is because some people know this, some people don't know this. One of my dreams in life has always been to learn how to code. Now, learning to code is a bit like learning to speak a new language, okay? You need to study the syntax, you need to study all the words, you need to learn everything, and it just takes a very, very long time. However, AI, just like Google Translate 10 years ago, 15 years ago, allowed you to at least start to communicate in that language. I'm not saying I'm a coder, I'm not saying I'm a programmer, whatever, okay? I'm just saying, at least now, I can do things like this. Now, I would like to remind everyone that I have no idea about programming, I have no idea about creating web apps, I've never been able to do this successfully, and yet, when I open this link right here, I will not be giving this away, okay? I'm sorry guys, I, I, I can't, I'll explain why in a bit, but... So, we go to this website, slash submit, and we put two men it, and we'll say best sneakers for men, and then we'll press submit here, and we'll watch the process in the background. So what it does is it finds all of the products, all of the internal links, everything, and then it says Shopify data scrape successfully, and then, you probably know what's coming next, but I will give this a little bit of time to load. But I want to talk about the other thing that I've been obsessed with, and that is, of course, Claude. One of the things that was holding back auto-blogging, in my opinion... Sorry, I should say good auto-blogging. Let me just explain what I mean by good auto-blogging before I continue, okay? Now, there's, there's kind of two auto-bloggers. There's uh, no context. No context. And obviously the other one is context. From what I've seen, most of the auto vloggers are no context. What they do is they, so, so actually someone in uh, one of the trainings, I think it was David or Dave, um, he, what he said was the problem with, I was explaining this to, to the trainees and he said, so what you're saying is that article could be on any website and that, is kind of the point here. The no context auto bloggers, it doesn't really matter whose website it, it's on, right? Now, I'm gonna show you, I think it's marybonsai.com, which is, oh. Okay, we'll talk about Astrological Eden, which is actually uh, Julian's. I was gonna talk about Jesse Cunningham's uh, Mary Bonsai, but I can't find it. All of these articles, if we look at them, unless, I, I think he might have done an internal link script on them, but let's just double check here. Yeah, so there are, there are internal links here, but it could still just be on anyone else's website. And I mean, there's like three internal links in this entire thing. There's no, there's not a single image. It's all just like big walls of text that could be on anyone's website. That is bad auto blogging. What mine does slash will do slash Give me some time to work everything out, guys, because I still don't know what the hell we're doing with this beast that I have made, is it draws context specifically from your website. And I am getting it to do WordPress as well. Guys, this won't be a free tool, okay? Um, I'm putting, I've put like over 90 hours into it just over the last few days. So it's not going to be a free tool. If we do release it, I don't know if we're going to release it or not. But the good thing is Shopify sitemaps and also WordPress sitemaps to, to a lesser extent have a lot of really, really good information about your business on. And ChatGPT doesn't have to open this URL to know that this is a pair of Kiton dark gray cotton sneakers because it can just read the URL slug, okay? And again, this image link will be associated with this lock. So what it does is, I'll show you exactly what it does because it should have finished by now. If we hasn't finished, it seems to have failed for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, so I'm just reading that this error message 529 normally means that Claude is just busy. So we'll let that keep running and I'll just show you what I mean by context. So if I go on two men dot it, oops. 
and click on journal and we have a little look now it's been a while since i since i wrote an article for them but this one doesn't have any images in i don't think actually bad example best black sneakers in 2024 we scroll down we see context and the pair of white sneakers but we don't talk about that this is chat gpt this isn't claude okay um chat gpt is still this is why i've made the move from chat gpt to claude by the way claude would never pick this because they would see that it says white black which means if the white is first then it's the dominant one okay so obviously after not changing anything for the script in three days and then trying it again on a live video it fails i think i don't know for a fact it looks like it was um a problem with the claude api but yeah uh this took me 10 hours to make and i could then send this to a virtual assistant and tell them to generate crap tons of content for me overall that's going to be much cheaper than you know getting someone who's qualified or whatever it might be so it's all about creating systems to save yourself time but also to continue your quality of work that's the most important thing here you can't just make a system to save yourself time. The system also has to perform at the same level that you are currently performing. Otherwise, you know, what are we really doing here? That's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to make a video explaining, like, what I'm up to, why I'm not uploading, where I am. And, yeah, I'll, I'll be back at some point to a bit more regular uploads. But for now, at least, I'm just having a great time fulfilling one of my dreams um i'm probably gonna look at making a video game potentially uh, or maybe some apps or something i don't know i don't know now w one thing i will quickly say is although gpt pilot is really really good and i do really really get behind the project i really really do like it and it's really really helped me it can be very very frustrating to read so before you use it please go to their co-pilot and read these commands okay I did not do this and I thought that I'd lost one of the apps that I created, so I had to start all over again. And then I came on here and I saw that it actually just lists all existing apps, so nothing is ever lost. Another really, really handy tip if you're going to use this is skip until dev step. As soon as you have something that's working and you want to move on to the next bit, save that dev step, okay? As soon as you have a dashboard that's doing, you know, more or less broadly what you want, save that dev step. And then you have a save of that version of the app. I'm, I don't want to say forever because I did lose a load of saves because my hard drive was full. Be careful with that as well. But pretty much forever as long as you don't do something stupid like I did and let my, <laughs> let my hard drive get full. And then when it tries to save, it actually just put them in recycle bin. And then I emptied my recycle bin thinking I was making room. And I deleted all my files and I lost maybe 15 to 20 hours of work. But it is what it is, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, listening to me rambling, you're an absolute legend. I don't expect this video to do well. I just want to tell my subscribers that, you know, I'm alive. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.